In this section, I'm going to be introducing you to the hyperbolic functions. Now, what you're going to be used to are the trigonometric functions, um, and these are very closely related to those. The trig functions are often referred to as the circular functions. And the reason why that is, is because sine and cosine parameterize the circle. So a circle, a point on that circle, you can write as cosine of theta, sine theta, for example. Okay? And that's why they be referred to as the circular, uh, circular functions. So the hyperbolic functions that we're going to introduce here are such that they can parameterize a hyperbola. So here is the uh, rectangular hyperbola x squared minus y squared equals 1. Now, it would also have the second half of it, which should be over here, okay, and a point on this curve can be parameterized in this way, writing cosh of theta and shine theta. Now, I'm going to uh, be clear on how to pronounce these in a moment, okay, and I'm going to... Uh, Try and head that one off at the pass. Uh, before I do that, um, the what you need to be clear on here is that um, we're referring to these as the hyperbolic functions, or two of the hyperbolic functions, um, because they are related to the hyperbola. Now, they only parameterize this portion of the graph uh, rather than that one because cosh um, is only ever positive and so you only get that half of the graph now you can type that into um, into desmos if you like put it in brackets like that and you can see that it traces out that half of the graph okay so um, let's define them first okay so, cosh, well, let's go with shine first. So, there are many different ways of pronouncing these, and people will have their favourites, okay? And your teacher might use um, cinch, or they might say hyperbolic sine, for example. Um, there are many different ways of saying it. There is no one correct way. Okay, so just to be clear on that before people start <laughs> arguing that I'm not saying it right. So I was always taught that this was shine, uh, as in the sunshine, um, and shine of x is equal to, so this is how it's defined, as e to the x take away e to the minus x, divided by 2. Now this looks quite complicated, okay? Um, but when it comes down to its actual usage, uh, it's, it's not really too bad, okay? So this is how it is defined. Then we have cosh of x, and that is e to the x plus e to the minus x over 2. Now, this is related to um, a quaternary, so that is where you've got um, like a chain link. Um, so if you hold up a chain, the shape that it makes, it's not a parabola, it's very close to one, um, but it's actually uh, defined this way. So this is shine, and this is cosh, okay, and then you've got fan. or tanch, depending on uh, who's, uh, who's saying it. And as you would expect, this is defined as shine of x over cosh of x. Ooh. So used to writing cosine of x 
Okay? So then you think, okay, well, if we've got those three functions, then how about Koshek, as I pronounce it? Koshek. So that is 1 over shine of x. Okay, so you can see that there are very kind of like strong links with the trigonometry you know. So, shek of x is 1 over cosh of x. And then you've got koth, okay, which is 1 over than. Now, what we're going to find is we're going to be, uh, well, what we're going to develop, first of all, are the graphs of y equals shine x, y equals cosh x, y equals than x. Uh, we're going to be looking at the, their ranges and domains. Uh, we're going to be interested in looking at the identities that go with them. So hyperbolic functions have very close links to the trigonometric uh, functions in their identities as well. OK, as we will develop. Now, if you are so put off by how I'm pronouncing these functions, um, then this section of the playlist won't be for you. OK, uh, but hopefully you can get by that. If this is the first time you've met them, then I can indoctrinate you with how you pronounce these now. OK, um, and then you can go and annoy uh, your teacher pronouncing them in a different way to how they pronounce them. Okay, so uh, this is our introduction. Uh, we will be investigating what these curves look like in the next few videos.